White Brook 85 here on 95 in Chester. Just about ready to get on to 476, up to the Poconos, over to Williamsport, and then up to the mountains. So it is time. Pennsylvania deer season is just about upon us. The usual trip with Sean and I. No Sean over here, just myself. So I'm going to be solo for a week. Deer Camp 2019 has already been out and you've already checked that out. But uh, let's see what happened uh, eh, running up uh, to all that nonsense and madness that goes on when all the guys get here. There's another Mike that checked in. He's from Lancaster and he just said up here with the Amish and also the Whoopie Pie. Yes, the Whoopie Pie was officially, he says, from Lancaster. So just settle back. It's just me and you and uh, glad to have you with me. start to the solo trip Friday. Got all my stuff unloaded over here. Uh, got the stove fired up. I have a nice fire going in there right now. Not huge, but uh, nice warming it up. Had a little problem with the door. The handle came off. I had to screw that back on. So I'm, uh, I'm already into doing stuff. Uh, gonna get all my things uh, undone here, unpacked, straightened up, get everything set. It is Friday afternoon. And uh, the traffic was a little bit heavier coming up today. I noticed uh, Turnpike 80, I guess 476 they call it now. I always call it the Turnpike. But uh, a little bit heavier because everybody that wants to hunt tomorrow has to get here today. Uh, normally you could get here today, you could get here tomorrow, you could get here Sunday if you wanted to hunt opening day on Monday. But now everybody's got to get up here. And because of Thanksgiving, you would think people would be spending time with family and friends and wouldn't be in deer camp. So a lot of people in town when I came up, uh, looks like they're getting their camps ready, shopping and things like that. A little hustle and bustle in town. I'm gonna show you a little bit of stuff, uh, not trying not to bore you too much. I have some things to do in the cabin, some things to do with the shed out there. Uh, just a, a few busy items and uh, gonna do some hunting, uh, gonna do some relaxing, gonna do some more hunting, gonna do some relaxing. Maybe one night I'm gonna head into town and uh, get that all elusive uh, shower get cleaned up. I'm gonna go ahead and take a walk down to my stand, see how it's doing. Make sure there's leaves and everything is out of that so I'm not scraping that in the morning. Well, there's the stand. As you can see, that gray, black, you know, sort of greenish, white, it, it does blend in. If we did have some snow, which we may get a wintry mix over the next couple of days. Uh, it's really going to blend in more. So, eh, as long as it hides your movements, that's the important thing. Roof is still in good shape. Take a closer look here. Does it look like it's full of leaves? Just a few. Not bad. Right. Oh yeah, just a just a couple of leaves here. Get these out of there. So it looks like this baby is set. That was certainly quick, easy. Uh, I'll just undo one of these wires tomorrow, be able to climb right in there and, and seal that right back up again. Woods has grown up a little bit over the past few years. Uh, it's definitely time to maybe get something in here to clear some shooting lanes out. I found scrapes and rubs up this hill before, so uh, let's take a quick walk up there and we'll see if we can find anything. Here's my old stand. It's fairly close to the new one. Not sure if you can see it down there. I think you can. Put that up at 2003. Not sure how safe it is at this point. I don't, since I'm here by myself, I don't want to go up there in case something does happen. Right here looks like a little remnants of a, 
of a scrape. Certainly not been used in a while. And we have the branches overhead and a little bit of clear out. You can definitely tell something was in here. I'll take a walk around a little bit more. Had to replace the batteries in the in the clock thermometer over here. Uh, we have 30 outside right now, 61 in. It's starting to feel pretty nice in here. Uh, it was chilly when I came in. It was uh, in the it was in the mid 20s inside here because it's always colder in here than it is outside. Uh, I have another thermometer in my bunk area over there, and I was reading about 24. So that's pretty chilly. The time will sink tonight. That's one of those ones that'll sink up tonight and. It'll be reading in the morning when we're getting ready. Looks like we may have a winter storm coming in, uh, from what they're saying, the one that's kind of pushed across the country. Some of you have experienced it already. And it looks like it's here just in time for opening day and Sunday and Monday. So we'll see what this makes. Uh, I have a feeling uh, I may not be going anywhere for a couple days here. One thing I did get, and I want to put up right now, I'm about ready to sit down for, for now. I've been moving around for the last little bit and drove up and all the rest of it, but uh, carbon monoxide detector, we've needed one up here for a long time. So that's one thing that uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to go get my glass to see the best spot to put it at. In here. I woke up and I woke up and like my stomach was raw, my head's like spinning. I, I had carbon monoxide over here. Oh. I guarantee you, it's, this it's the same thing I way I felt that time my mom was up here and my dad used the charcoals inside. Uh, same. <laughs> Sick. You know the experience. Yeah, I know the experience. Uh, it's definitely something we should have had years and years and years ago, but uh, we're stupid and we didn't. But uh, this is this was kind of number one on my list to do today, besides check my stand out and get settled in. So all those things are done, so let's get on to the carbon monoxide, get this thing up and running. Another 8 degrees in here. I'll be happy with 69, 70 in here at the most. I don't want it too hot. Uh, but uh, this is about a nice temp in here, so we'll keep it about about this and uh, we get on to some burgers and dinner in a couple hours. Turkey, cranberry, jalapeno, and cheddar cheese burgers on the grill for myself. So it is, sun is going down last evening and before opening day. Uh, just going to get something to eat, probably watch a little something on one of the tablets and hit the bed and get up and get ready for our opening day. I look forward to getting out there in the morning. It's going to be a little chilly, low 20s, but I uh, got the clothes for it and uh, not going to be out all day, that's for sure. Now, uh, let's take a look at these burgers. Good luck to everybody in the morning. Hey, morning. Now, well, got some water boiling, coffee, oatmeal. Got down to about 50 something in here last night, 52, but uh, Plenty warm with uh, the quilts and the blankets and everything that I have in there. Get some oatmeal, some coffee going, and uh, we'll be heading out there for opening day. Well, it's about 9.30, quarter 10, opening morning, fairly quiet, shot-wise. Really didn't hear that, probably under 15 shots, which is not many. I did hear one close over this way across the road, back in some game lands. That was, that was a close one, so possibly one over there, way down. I think in the fields down there I could tell because the kind of the sound just like echoed through. So I think it was actually out in the field. But uh, not much. I did see about four doe down in the down in the flat down there. Uh, 
I tried to get the camera on it, but it was, it was pretty far you know, with all the branches. I don't think it focused in there, so I don't think I got them, unfortunately. But uh, Ford Dove, uh, they were kind of making their way from where the chairman has his stand, kind of moseying over to where uh, Eric, or where medical man has his. Uh, of course, they're not here, so it doesn't matter, and they were dough. It's not dough season yet here. So I'm going to go in, get a coffee, get warmed up a little bit. Uh, make a couple phone calls. I may take a run here at lunch. Here we are, midday break, Saturday. And again, I, I just can't stay in the whole day. Uh, besides getting cold and back issues and things like that. And, you know, I wish I could. And if I end up building something a little bit more substantial than just the stand, uh, I'll be able to do that. I'll have a little bit more comfortable spot, maybe even a little buddy, buddy heater in there. But uh, that's in the future. So for right now, I've got a few things to do. Uh, one... And the first thing, meeting uh, Kevin, upstate deer hunter, and uh, I'm meeting him at Liberty. He's going to give me some beer for our, when the guys get here. I'm actually not going to drink it until they get here. Very kind of him to do that, going to meet him, and you can get an opportunity to, to meet him also. And in the back, I have some gas tanks i got to fill up for the generator, and a propane tank i got to have to fill up too. We got that bad weather coming in tomorrow, sleet, snow, ice. Take a look at the mountain here because, uh, as you can see, one mistake, one slip, one going a little bit too fast or hitting your brakes, and you go over the side of this, you're not getting your vehicle back. I don't know how you would get it back. They'd have to special wreckers to, to pull it up, and it would never be the same again. So I don't want to take the chance. I was going to do... The, the, the gas or propane tomorrow, but uh, just don't want to take the chance going down that hill. That weather's supposed to start early, and you can see this this hill right here is uh, very bad going down. You got to creep it. You know, if there's any kind of snow on there, you got to creep two, three miles an hour as it is, and then we get some ice. And most of the time, you're trying to position yourself. Yeah, if you start to if you break free, then you want to slide to the into the ditch on the, the mountainside, but you're still gonna do some damage to your vehicle. I don't care what kind of vehicle it is, you're still going to do damage to it if you go into that ditch and hit the side of the mountain there. Come on along, we'll uh, meet Kevin. Uh, great guy, I've been conversing him with him for a while now. Got a nice deer last year, got a, a deer, or a couple of deer this year actually in New York, and uh, he's doing very well. He saw quite a few this morning. Is that from the from Delaware the deer? Yeah, this is from the Delaware deer. Oh, Still nice. a teeny bit frozen. Oh, I'll take that to camp so with the can, boys. Uh, yeah, let those, let those guys have it. Oh, that's awesome. Here we can put those cool. beers right in here. And they're fresh out of the cooler, so they're still yeah. cold. Nice. I think I, th I just had mine sitting out last night at 23. I know yeah. they were in good shape. Yeah. So it sounds like we saw a lot of deer this morning. Yep. Lost count at about 25 does, three bucks, two spikes, and a little three point. Some of the other guys are seeing bucks and does. Uh, biggest group I saw was uh, nine altogether, which okay. has been a couple of years since we've seen deer in that, you know, bigger group that at least around here. Yeah. I think that weather last year, that rainy first day, might have helped a lot. Yeah. And I, just, I didn't hear a lot of shooting by this morning. We is... heard, I would say it's about a moderate year. We might have heard yeah. about 20 shots. There's a club yeah. nearby that does a lot of uh, deer drives, so okay. they're bound to. Yeah. And when that starts, so, it's like bam, 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 bam. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yep. So, but yeah, hopefully you guys uh, score one this year. Yeah, well, we're hoping a couple of license. I think that's what oh, will that might, might finally break it. Break it. Now, are you guys the same this year? You can't shoot a doe the first, no. first uh, week? No. Yeah. That's one of the reasons why they're coming up second week. Yeah. Is bear open over there? Is here? It, they can I think it actually them. might be, but yeah. I don't. I don't. Yeah, I'm not really sure. To tell you the truth, because I know I don't. I don't bear hunt, so I don't care. Yeah, yeah here I think they can hunt bear for the first three days okay. of the gun season. So. I didn't see a bear this morning either. No. I think it was four doe, a woodpecker, and twenty squirrels, I guess. Yeah. Or it's the same squirrel over and over and over. Yep. In the afternoon.
I had to go down to Mike's stand to put a cover over it due to that weather that was coming in the very next day. Here's his stand. I wanted to get some boards up there, get some rocks on there so the wind couldn't blow them off. Keep that snow and ice out of there. Here's the first rub that I've come across while I've been walking around. Unfortunately, you can see my finger and how wide that is. And it's pretty low to the ground. It's only a foot off the ground, so we're not talking about a big deer there. That's a, that's a little guy. But uh, I'm still happy to see it. Still means there's bucks in here. I got some chicken cooking up. And some of the whiskey sauce on there that Brian from Washington was kind enough to send out. Johnny's whiskey sauce. Looking forward to trying it. Well, about to sit down to some grilled chicken with the whiskey sauce, some green beans and butter, and uh, my beer of choice. What I have up here where the guys aren't here? Schlitz. Schlitz. I mentioned Schlitz, I think, the last trip. Happened to be in the liquor store, and there it was. So, uh, Milwaukee. Thank you for uh, Schlitz. Getting frozen out there, it's bubbling up. Thank you for the Schlitz, Milwaukee. Uh, gonna enjoy that. Mm -hmm. Good, it's just when I'm uh, gonna save the IPAs, I may have one or two, uh, like tomorrow and you know, one of the days. But uh, gonna have Schlitz mostly and some Jack Daniels. I uh, just kept it old school. Uh, kind of went back to basics here, so I'm going to sit down and enjoy this. Um, today, saw the four dough, nothing this afternoon, but of course uh, I get something from Eric in here. Take a look at this, and of course uh, this guy's like 400 yards away from me, or five or six or whatever it is down there. I'm on one side of the property, that's on the other side. What can you do? What can you do? Oh boy, that sauce is good. I'm going to enjoy this chicken. So, um, uh, beans, chicken, no deer, but Saturday, still no hunting on Sunday in PA. Uh, going to look for a little salt, and I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. Uh, just going to kick back, watch some movies tonight or something like that, uh, have a nice evening. So, uh, everybody, I hope you're having a great evening too, and I'll catch you in the morning. Hey, morning. Yeah, I hope you slept okay last night. Got a little chilly in here, didn't it? Uh, yeah. Usually I put the wood stove, I don't pack it for all night because it gets too hot. Just kind of let that die down, go to the propane. But unfortunately the propane ran out, ran out last night, so it got down to about 40 in here. I woke up this morning and I'll be like, eh, it feels a little cold. I was planning on staying in bed a little bit longer. I'm sure you were too. But I uh, had to get up and get a fire going, and if I get, get the fire going, then i got to get some coffee going, and uh, we we'll get a little breakfast going over here. Have some uh, English muffin, egg white, sausage, get that heated up, have a nice breakfast. Well, it is Sunday, and uh, it's kind of mess around day. But I brought some things with me to kind of keep me a little bit busy, a little bit uh, organizing that closet over there that I think he saw was open while I was eating last night. And, Kind of get some silverware set up over there. We got sleet it's coming this way. It's coming kind of uh, south to north on us. Going to get the stove nice and fired up. We got it up to 55 in here, so that's not bad. I still have my jacket on, as you can see. I get this uh, breakfast warming up and uh, get into a little bit of messing around. Another ribeye tomahawk tonight. Now that'll be uh, that'll be the highlight of my day when I'm sitting down to that dinner. Uh, gonna do a low and slow and reverse sear all that goodness with that, but that'll be later But for right now uh, Just settle in a little bit uh, sit down kick back. It's Sunday. It's time to relax Now uh, let's have breakfast and then we'll see what we want to do. Well, hopefully you can hear me over the wind uh, Here at the uh, the cooler rack Put the bottle over on last year, but uh, or less I don't know whenever I was up here in the summer sometime the only problem is, is uh, every time you open a bottle, the bottle caps go all over the port. So I think I found a solution for it. Now, let me take this one off. Put this one somewhere else. I 
have this one here that I got uh, Tuesday morning. I Tuesday I forget Tuesday something Tuesday morning or something like that. I forget the name of the store. Uh, hopefully this will uh, take care of the issue. It wasn't very expensive. I think it was under five dollars. Wonderful. That screw just broke. But, eh, I have to put another one in there. Oh boy. Chinese. They don't know how to make screws. Unbelievable. Alright, there we go. It's on. So, uh, yeah, dinner time we'll have to test this out, see if it works. Yeah, well, maybe not. Maybe not. Let me go see if I got a bottle cap around. Oh yeah, here's a couple. So let's see. Right, there we go. Well then I guess all I gotta do is come and pull them off. So that'll do it. Nice magnetic opener. And uh, should take care of the problem with the uh, caps going all over the place. Well, solo Sunday. Uh, instead of doing the, the ribs, as we're going to be having next Sunday. Got another one of these whoppers. The uh, Tomahawks. This one... 2.610 pounds. I think that's like 1.1 kilograms for our Canadian and metric friends. Huge. And this is going to be part of my leftovers for uh, tomorrow night uh, that I'm going to have. Uh, a little chicken, a little bit of this that's left over. Got the old blue gloves because of the water situation here. Uh, going with just a little bit of emerald essence on there. And that's a lot of it's for the paprika that gives it a nice color. And uh, have this um, garlic, rosemary, and sea salt uh, that I'm going to go ahead and put on it. Get this all uh, seasoned up. Put it in the bag here. Let it sit for a little bit, uh, probably about 45 minutes, an hour or so, before I start that grill up. Going to get my baked potato going. So this will be my my big Sunday, uh, my big Sunday uh, meal. Have a little string to tie it up a little bit, just to. To hold it together, going to do the the low and slow, and then reverse sear method. Get it up to about 120 ish, uh, 125, and then fire the grill up and uh, and really uh, give it a nice sear. So uh, that is this afternoon. Weather has been, uh, of course, crappy as I've mentioned. Uh, sleet all day long. I really haven't been able to do too much outside. Uh, I do have a new generator that uh, that you've probably already seen by now in the deer camp video. Changed the oil on that. It ran it for about eight hours. Changed the oil on that today. Put a new solar lamp up behind me, uh, but I unfortunately can't get the solar piece of it outside and set up because everything is a sheet of ice out there, and I'm certainly not doing that myself. Fall off the ladder, fall off the deck, and uh, nobody would ever find me till it bear ate me. I really kind of wanted to do something like this. Uh, for the camp uh, when we were up here, but uh, due to the Saturday hunting, uh, wasn't able to do that. I bought these down Rehoboth Beach for that you know, uh, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware Acme for the that you know uh, people that know Rehoboth. Uh, they have them down there in the summer. So if you're visiting in the summertime, go into the Acme there and uh, into the display case. They have the big tomahawk selection. Uh, quite a, quite an impressive selection when I went in during the summer. So let's get this uh, stop talking, get this seasoned up. That is one doozy of a steak. Pretty nice marbling throughout. Look at this side, really, really nice over here. Go ahead and put a lot of this on there. Sides, everything. There it is. Go ahead and put it in the bag and get that grill and potato going pretty soon. There we go. It is massive steak. Certainly will feed me for multiple nights. You can see the snow has started in the background. And depending on who you're listening to, could be four, could be six, could be eight, could be ten inches. We shall see. Uh, I talked to Sean today. Actually had him place in Amazon order for me for uh, chains to, to bring up when they come up when he comes up Friday. So uh, Sean, I really appreciate you handling that for me. I just may need them. Now I was planning on going in town Thursday night, kind of ending the trip there, but we shall see depending on 
snow and the road conditions. But uh, we've reached that magic time now with the uh, tomahawk. Let's come on over and take a look. It's reached its about uh, between 120 and 125 inside. So I'm going to pull the probes and get this side nice and hot over here. Go ahead and sear it and then we're going to go ahead and enjoy it. Uh, it's going to be a great dinner for us. Uh, yeah, really looking forward to that. It, it looks beautiful right now. Oh yeah. Not getting the grill marks because of the tin foil, but uh, that's okay. It's, it's having the same effect. The beer to go with this tonight. Kicked it up from the Schlitz with a little Burton Batten from Dogfish. That's basically an IPA that's been aged in oak barrels. Kind of the, the double whammy with the uh, with the aging in oak barrels that we like and an IPA. Let's officially test out and there we go. It's stuck right onto the red cap. We've got a nice cold beer, nice warm steak, nice baked potato. Let's go eat some dinner. Well, it's us resting for a couple minutes, get this tater ready. I know we, that was definitely done. It's been out there a while. There's butter on here. One, two, two and a half, and, uh, and one for the steak. Here is dinner, and uh, I'll catch you for my dessert beer. Well, this is the, the time of the evening after that great meal. Well, a nice cigar or pipe would be wonderful, but uh, gonna hold off and don't want to pollute the cabin up with a bunch of smoke uh, as far as pipe smelling or cigar smelling smoke. But I'm just gonna have to be satisfied with my uh, dessert beer. This is another dogfish. Uh, came out recently. Cold. Let's take a close look at that baby. Suddenly comfy. And uh, it's really just, it's the perfect dessert beer for this time of year. A lot of cinnamon, nutmeg, pumpkin, apple, vanilla uh, notes to it. And it really just goes good with, with being Thanksgiving or, you know, two days after Thanksgiving. Great, uh, great ribeye, tom or tomahawk ribeye. I'm going to sit back, uh, enjoy this. Snow tomorrow. So everybody have a good night, and we'll see you in the morning for some more hunting. It'll be actually Monday, the true traditional what would be opening day. Uh, since we had Saturday, I guess I'm quite not quite as psyched as I would be uh, normally uh, this time of the night, thinking, okay, tomorrow's opening day. But it's good, I've already got all my stuff laid out, the firearm is ready, my pack is ready. So everybody have a great night and we'll catch you probably from the stand in the morning. Well, as you can see, it is snowing hard. Trees, branches have inches of snow piled up on them. Some are five, five to 10 times the amount of snow on them is the size of the branch. So basically it's like hunting in a snow globe right now. Uh, really can't see much. Squirrels haven't even been out. I think I saw one bird fluttering around. That was about it. Uh, starting to have the weight of the snow piling up on these branches and the dead ones are now starting to crack and, and fall. Uh, so I am gonna head back in, but uh, just uh, unbelievable snow probably got about four five six inches forecast uh, looks like we're gonna get the 10 that they said maybe even 12 so we shall see uh, looks like I'm not going anywhere for a while uh, but uh, yeah very snowy very closed in because uh, you really can't see I mean it's every hunter's dream to have a light coating of snow but uh, a heavy coat like this just it's, it's too much. It's too much for you. It's, it really closes the woods in on you. Over here, but look at this. You can just see the amount of snow piled up on a, on a branch. It's not even an inch, and you have three, four inches of snow on it. Well, uh, I'm going to head back in, get some wood into the cabin. And there goes another branch falling down over there and knocking the snow down. 
go back in, check the wood, fill the rack back up again inside, get a fire going, I guess, and get something to eat. We'll see what's happened with the snow. Tomorrow is supposed to be sunny, uh, so I'm hoping that uh, within this 36 hours, 48 hours of bad weather, the deer are going to be up on their feet after after this, moving around looking for something to eat. So uh, I'm sure right now, if I were a deer, I'd be huddled under a pine tree and uh, just sitting there, maybe chewing my cud, and that'd be, that'd be about it. So uh, uh, starting to get a little bit wet here. Gun starting to get a little bit of snow all over it, so I'm going to make my way back to the cabin. See how thick and that snow is coming down hard and fast here very small flakes, which usually means it's going to last a while. Here's my tracks coming in this morning. You can see they're already starting to get filled back up again. Can't even see any tread marks in there. Get back and see what the cabin looks like. snow piled up on these branches like this. It really cuts the visibility down. And all these beech trees in here, you can't see anything. They're here. Back in the uh, little kitchen area over here with a nice schlitz since the official deer camp hasn't started yet. About to cook up a little leftovers, the chicken from uh, Saturday night and some baked beans tonight. Today was a, an interesting day because of the weather, uh, the snow yesterday, last night, and today. Uh, it snowed really up until about 2 o'clock and then stopped, but then it started Again, very fine, very light, uh, about four. I don't think it was blown off the trees, and you can see from the video, a little gust of wind and all that snow would start dropping all over the place. Uh, but it was interesting to be out there. Beautiful afternoon, really beautiful day. Got some great pictures of the camp and, and around, and, and really looked, uh, you know, spectacular. Uh, nature uh, in, its, in its finest glory. But as far as deer goes, for me, uh, really didn't see anything, and I wasn't quite expecting to see too much today just because of the weather. Uh, we had one gentleman on the, the mountain, Scott, that I mentioned before in the spring video. Uh, he got this nice six-pointer, six, uh, six-pointer, I think. Uh, never good with points. Uh, well, he was sort of doing some pushing for his wife and a little bit of very soft stalking through the snow. And he said he ended up shooting this one while it was still in its bed with three doe with it. So congratulations to him. Fine, fine work to be able to sneak through the woods up to the point where you can get in shooting range and them not detecting you. Really fine, outstanding job. He had a heck of a drag. He drug it all the way down the mountain. Got a gentleman down the bottom to, to help him bring it back up to our lane where his wife met him and back up the mountain. Uh, the, the road is very slippery. It's, it is a thousand feet of elevation gain when you're going from the bottom to the top. So it's, uh, it's quite a bit. It hasn't been plowed. That's scheduled for possibly tomorrow. Going to be interesting to see what it's going to be like. So enough rambling. Going to get this uh, dinner heated up. Let's make a few calls and things like that. Eh, maybe have another schlitz or two. Yeah. Get back at it tomorrow. Now tomorrow is supposed to be sunny in the mid-30s. So a lot of that, uh, that stuff should be dropping off the tree, so that should help view. And again, with that 36, 48 hours of constant weather, I'm pretty sure the deer should be up and on their feet tomorrow. So everybody have a good night, and I'll catch you in the morning.
Take a little walk around this morning. Found this. Uh, this is a nice looking rub right here. It's a little bit bigger than it appears. You got the small one in the front, but then that big one in the back, and it's got rubbed on too. And not bad. Not a bad deer. Had to be a fairly decent one. And uh, this is not far from the cabin, really. Another beautiful, beautiful day out here. Snow covered everything still. Two shots, I heard. Go back to the cabin and warm up a little bit. Just ought to warm things up a little bit. Tuesday evening. Today really wasn't what I expected out there. I expected a lot of movement uh, just because of the prior weather condition. And I, I didn't see anything today, which was surprising. Was surprising. Was out this morning and this afternoon. Did a few other things uh, during the day. Put another lock on the shed. A couple other small items. Usually uh, Tuesday night is taco night, but uh, we do have the ground beef frying up over there, but it's going to be uh, pasta night. Have some uh, have some pasta here. Going to make some tonight, and then uh, probably have some another night. I uh, have enough here certainly for a couple days worth. Uh, like I said, a little bit uh, disappointing today with the uh, with the lack of activity. I was expecting to hear a little bit more, see a little bit more shot wise two shots i heard today and that was it two both this morning nothing this afternoon they, they did plow the road this afternoon but that really didn't wouldn't have any effect on a deer uh it would if it was up close to the road of course but uh into the wood back deep into the woods it wouldn't have any effect on them uh so i'm just going to go ahead and, and get this pasta going i'm going to sit down i'm going to relax tomorrow morning i'm sleeping in uh, why not why not? I, I don't have a set schedule. I'm just going to sleep in tomorrow and then uh, we'll see what I'm going to do tomorrow afternoon. Let me get this pasta ready. I'm sure you're hungry. Uh, we'll have a have a beer again with it. In case you're wondering, uh, the Schlitz count, I got six left out of 12 that I brought up and it's uh, Tuesday and I came up Fridays. So just in case, because I know some people count for some strange reason. If anything comes up, I'll let you know, but I'll catch you in the morning. Cabago, over here. Well, here we are, Wednesday morning. It's about 9.30 or so. Slept in this morning till about 7.30. Uh, felt good to kind of just not, not get up, even though 5.30 really isn't that early. Uh, just had some breakfast sandwiches, a little coffee. Walking around out here, I noticed we have that ice dam situation on the roof like we did last year, but a little bit worse. You know, I'm around the back of the cabin here. Let's take a look at this. The heat of the cabin, it's making that slide down. You can see how those icicles are angled in now. So I guess I'm going to have to try to maybe give them a little bit of a push and let that slide down, I guess. Because it's going to either happen with me doing it or it happening naturally. That's going to be one heck of a noise when that comes down. So I think I'll, uh, I don't know if I just think I'm just going to help it along or what. I'm not sure. Let's take a look at here. Still covered from Sunday night into Monday. And here it is Wednesday. Hasn't been that much of a breeze. So all that snow is still stuck to everything. Heard a few shots this morning about 8 o'clock. It was a series of three, you know, wham, 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 which can mean a miss. Not necessarily, but uh, not sure what was going on there. The only thing that happened after six days now is maybe a serious case of hathead. Uh, I was hoping to take care of that at the hotel tomorrow, but um, I just don't think I'm going to gonna risk going down the down the mountain so uh yeah that's okay i may i may try to shampoo here uh I, we got the shower bags i know i can do it 
The just question is, is I can do it without making a mess and uh, freezing myself to death. So that's good. That'll be a, a question I'll be pondering probably today at some point. I'm going to go back in the cabin, kind of clean some things up a little bit. I know the guys aren't coming for two days, but I want to have it nice and organized and cleaned up for when they get here. Uh, I was hoping that I would have saw something by now, had something down, but uh, uh, just uh, after that storm, I probably should be walking around down the bottom, but um, I just kind of wanted to keep that nice and quiet uh, until the guys get here and get them, give them a good chance to get a dough. Well, I'm going to go back in and uh, I'll see about this catastrophe that we have waiting to happen over here with this ice dam up on the roof. About half that ice dam just fell off. A little bit left on the edge over there. And let's move around the other side. Uh, we still have this thing hanging right here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to knock that off. Here she goes! Spectacular, huh? Well, scrap hunting for today. Uh, got involved cleaning this uh, these chimney parts off. If you see, there's something a little bit missing on our stove here. We're getting a little bit of smoke back into the cabin, so I took some of these pipes apart uh, and cleaning them out. There's some creosote buildup in there. The flue vent was very corroded, and it didn't seem like it was working right when you had it one way. It looked like it was going another way, so that could possibly be uh, an issue too. I was able to find one in the shed and replace that. Now I'm just cleaning the pipes out the best I can and uh, gonna start a little fire up see if I can get it over uh, what do we got over 50 in here maybe I can get it up to like 65 or so and I can take off my trapper hat for the day. Well just sitting down on a nice dinner the trapper hat is off and my hat head is on but uh, stove took that apart and uh, got all the soot out replaced the damper in there uh, and it really seemed to help so far I think. Uh, I got it up to like 65 in here after just a little bit of time. So just enjoying a nice leftover dinner of the steak and some pasta. Kick back and watch a movie. Didn't get out to hunt today as I mentioned but we'll be out there tomorrow morning early. It's snowing out there right now. A uh, nice little coating only about a eighth of an inch so far. I think it's just gonna get some snow showers but uh, nice. Nice, looks looks beautiful. You know, I think that's about it for today. So that it is Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday, so I'm rolling into my last day of solitude, solitude here, my fortress of solitude. Uh, sort of looks like that with the all the snow out there. Uh, but having a, had a good time so far. Uh, different being here by myself for this long. Uh, like sometimes a little bit of needing somebody to talk to, but uh, got some visitors today. Uh, and I appreciate uh, Scott and Brenda dropping by and uh, talking, shooting the breeze a little bit today. It was, it was nice to see them. And go ahead and get on to dinner. I'll catch you in the morning. Well, here it is Thursday morning. Uh, haven't seen any activity again. As you can see, the woods behind me still looks almost like it did on Monday. Still a lot of snow around, but uh, I really I've been staying up on top here, trying to leave the bottom area for the guys when they come up. Because uh, it's to tell you the truth, it's it's more important to me for one of those guys to get a deer than me. Uh, so I've kind of let that area be nice and quiet, not disturbed it. Uh, I was down there on Saturday. Uh, but that was about it. That was the last time I was down that way. So I'm going to head back to the cabin, uh, get warmed up a little bit. Uh, I think it's time to get cleaned up today. Uh, we'll see what I can do with that. Uh, I have a couple ideas for uh, washing up uh, since I'm not going to make it down to the hotel. So go back. I think I'm going to knock some of the snow off the pine trees there open up the parking area a little bit for when the guys start arriving tomorrow. Uh, 
Well, helped a little bit, but we'll see where they're going to want to park here when they get here. You know, there's some on this side too. Just been straightening up inside, uh, getting ready for the guys to come here. I had sort of my stuff spread out all over the place because I could. So now uh, I have that all consolidated it back into my bunk area, and there's plenty of room for them to come in and put uh, their things where their their stuff belongs. Got the Deer Camp 2019 beer all stowed away, and thanks to our viewers uh, Kevin and Mike that sent that. And of course, Tim with the bourbon. I appreciate it. Got that all stowed away in the cooler out here. Uh, it's been sitting on the floor in the cabin. It's actually been very, very cold on the floor just because it's been cold out here. I think, uh, let's see if I can go in and, and get cleaned up a little bit. I have a couple ideas on how to get this hair taken care of and uh, got to get some of this hair off my face. Starting to get a little bit itchy and get, get, all, uh, get all freshened up. Well, that sure felt good to get cleaned up, uh, almost as good as going in town, almost. Uh, it would have been a little nicer if I would have been in there, had, a, had another dinner instead of some leftovers again tonight. But I appreciate you coming along with me uh, on the, this solo adventure of the deer camp. Uh, I tell you the truth, I really seriously thought that I was going to see something and have a chance for something. Sometimes you just have that feeling, but it, uh, it did not work out that way. Again, I wanted to stay away from the guys' area and kind of let that be nice and quiet, maybe have some deer filter into them, uh, into that area, and then have them have a chance of getting it uh, on uh, Saturday. They'll start filtering into camp, and PA Deer Camp 2019 will kick off uh, a week late, but uh, just as good. Uh, again, I appreciate you coming along for this solo piece of it. Uh, hopefully you didn't fall asleep on my rambling. Uh, this is White Rook 85 signing out. Camp Go Time, deep in the woods, Pennsylvania.